Craig and Lori, in just three years, KVOO will celebrate its 100th year of broadcasting. And people who work on their on air now say it wouldn't be possible without Bob Wills. Bob Wills music took over the Oklahoma State Capitol on what would have been his 118th birthday. And Bob Wills, I think, is really who put Kane's Ballroom and KVOO on the map. Bob Wills was from Texas, but his career really took off in Oklahoma. He and the Texas Playboys broadcast a show on KVOO out of Kane's Ballroom every day, six days a week. And that's really kind of how Bob Wills' name got out there because back then kvoo on 1170 their signal was huge and it would stretch i mean beyond state lines and it would be heard in texas and kansas five countries biggest legends Make tanner sure messer broadcast now on the bull 98.5 and says bob wills used his show to make kane's ballroom and kvoo successful some of the names that are i think synonymous with kvoo there's billy parker and Paul Harvey, and then, of course, Bob Wills. Messer says Bob Wills has had such an impact on country music, and it's great the state is taking time to celebrate his life and his music. I think it's so cool, and especially because, you know, even some of the biggest country singers that you think of, kind of of the modern age, like George Strait and even Merle Haggard, those guys in that generation, Bob Wills influenced them. Kane's Ballroom also holds a tribute concert around Bob Will's birthday every year. Live in Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.